Hey Aquarius, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey, I'm doing a reading for the sun, moon, rising sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius, so we're gonna get into your read here, see what's going on, but I also wanna share, cause I'm getting ready to have my ginger shop that my daughter made me. Um, and I'll have to keep y'all, make sure you stay posted. I'm gonna be um, posting on a community post about when she starts um, her business going and all that kind of stuff because right now she's putting all the products together she does a lot of holistic stuff so i'm having a shot and what's this what's in this ginger shot it's yellow watermelon okay celery okay apple ginger okay and lemon okay so this is what she does for me because i'm huge on ginger i think ginger is really great for the insurance and also when you guys are up against people with um if you're going through any spiritual war warfare or um, just taking care of yourself, you want to be more self-improved and all that kind of stuff. You want to feel good. It's always good to do like detoxing and start your morning early with light things, not anything too heavy because your body's been resting. But um, and why are you, why why are you making us this shot? I'm taking it, y'all, while she talks. Why you, why'd you choose this one? That's what I had in the fridge. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Okay. Well, thank you, darling. All right, y'all. Let's get into bye, Aquarius. it. Bye, <laughs> She said bye, Aquarius. Okay. Mm. Very good. Very good. And you know what I like about hers is because you make them fresh. She's going to be showing how to do that. It's not like in the store. The ones in the store be so heavy. But I hope y'all found that helpful because I'm always trying to help my viewers improve themselves and feel better. Especially, I know a lot of y'all have been on the spell attacks and all this craziness. You really need to be balanced. Body needs to be balanced. All of it, it all works together to combat these types of things. And a lot of y'all are gonna be leveling up. Mm. Excuse me, let me just go ahead and knock this out. Y'all are gonna be leveling up and you need to be at your best, two, two, two on the clock. So here we got Poppy. Yeah, I, this came out earlier in the karmic reading. If you didn't see that, it had something to do with the karmics. It says something karmics, the last reading I just did. But yeah, wealth and financial hopeful, hopefulness, potential growth and positive changes. Not even potential growth. You will have growth. I don't know why they would put potential if you got wealth and not. That doesn't make sense. Anyway basically in a nutshell my darling you're about to do very very well for yourself you're coming out of something so that's our overall energy Aquarius let's take a look let's dig get some more cards and get some more detail for you so definitely you've done yeah some progress here you've had some progression I like to see that I like to see that my love let's see I'm hearing Aquarius, you're going to come out on top. I just heard it. All right. Let's get some energy here. Uh, you know what, though, Aquarius? Give me one moment. I want to see something. Let's take a look at it. I think I'll use these again. I hear somebody's energy saying, love reading. Um, if we get into that, we will. We'll see where the divine takes us first. Okay, they're saying I can keep going with this card. All right. But somebody was in a, under some type of illusion, or maybe you were. You're coming out of some type of illusion. Somebody was trying to block your progress. I mean, that as well. Oh, you know what, though, y'all? Let me. Mm -mm. I know better than that. I got distracted. Holy Spirit, if you will please protect my energy, past, present, and future. From anyone that tries to throw any negative force, any type of negative magic towards me in any way, I ask that you will take it and destroy it instantly, transform it into light and blessings to help move me forward. Whatever they try to do, do the opposite. And I ask that you will do the same for my Aquariuses that are watching who are of the highest vibration of love and who support you. Amen, Ashe. It is so. Let's go. Hallowed be thy name. Yeah, let's go ahead. Order in the mother court. All right. 
Let's get into it. What do you got, Holy Spirit? What do you got for me? Show me clearly. I'm going to my shadow so that I can see you and hear clearly. See, hear, and feel clearly. Mm. I love it. Great. So definitely hard times are coming to an end for you, love. Something has definitely ended. Yeah. The star card is reversed. It says hard times are coming to an end. Where you were last lost or confused, you may not have been feeling like a star, right? You will be now. There's lots of confusion sent your way. You may have been feeling lost about life, no direction. That's because somebody was throwing stuff towards you. Negative energy. Or somebody was blocking you in some type of manner here. But now that door is closed, okay? There'll be no more of that. I hear that clearly. That party's over is what I'm hearing. And you now, again end of hardships you got it twice end of hardships are happening a good if you if you're going through a divorce or you're going through a going through a divorce um or if you've just been having somebody try to block your love life because i'm getting that as well black block black Ooh, okay so somebody was probably doing black magic somebody trying to yeah cause darkness you did not have happiness. You're having victory over this person. My talk is hesitant. Like I can't get the words out. So I feel like somebody was also doing work on your throat chakra. I'm also hearing your root chakra, making you feel insecure, making you feel uncelebrated, unloved. Somebody was speaking for you. Okay, I think you allowed this person to do a lot of speaking for you, whether this is your career, you know, could have been your boss, whether this was the family life, your parents, lovers, whomever. But somebody is trying to delay your speech, try to keep you from overcoming, I'm hearing that. So somebody did not want you to overcome. I also feel like someone had S-E stuff magic. Okay, done on them as well. Okay, somebody was doing it heavily to someone so that they could have victory. Whether they were doing this to you or they were doing the rituals with someone else to keep you stuck. Somebody wanted to keep you stuck desperately. I feel that so clearly. Yeah, to keep you from letting go, to keep you from having independence. But the door is open for you now, love. Another door. So the door that they tried to close you with is now being opened. So somebody was trying to block a door, block your progress, but you're coming out of that. That has ended. The door is now closed for them. They can no longer get in. And this door has opened up for you. You're walking out or you've already walked out. You're healing yourself. You're balancing yourself out. Good for you. I'm here. Can't nobody hold me. Can't nobody hold me down. What's that song? Oh, that's that's a K-pop song. Can't nobody, can't nobody hold us down. To anyone. It's to anyone. <laughs> that's a K-pop group. I love them. Can't nobody, can't nobody hold us down. Yeah, it's called Can't Nobody Hold Us Down if you're interested to listen to or just want to look at the words because you may be like, what's this? This is Korean. I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> but look for the English version. There should be an English version, I believe. Yeah, so you're like, because we keep rocking. You're still rocking. You're still going where you got to go. You're like, mm -mm. you may have held me up for some time because some of those years, but you come out of that illusion. Yeah, ooh, somebody's mad because my third chakra, I feel like I want to throw up. So you're definitely releasing some, uh, some work that was done on you. Eight of coins is reversed. So the work that people were doing on you, these people, because I feel like it was people, 
It was at least three, because they have to have at least three. Could have been more, but somebody was definitely trying to keep you stuck, baby. But that is coming off. It's coming off of you. So you might be feeling, please see the disclaimers below. I'm not your doctor. You may be feeling quite often like you need to throw up or that you're nauseous, like something, because something is coming off you. Something is releasing. Neg this dark stuff that was on you. Even stuff from your past. We can carry stuff past when we were children. It freaks people out, but it's kind of like, I don't explain it. I'm going to save you the time. But so I'm just going to say it's coming off. All this stuff is coming off. So you, And you may feel like that on a daily basis for a little while, even weekly. You're going to be feeling like, damn, I got to throw up. You're not sick. It's that, um, and again, I'm not your doctor. You make sure you check and make sure everything is okay. Know who you are. But this is basically energetic stuff that was thrown that's coming out. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like somebody, a queen of coins, was doing this to you. Now, this could be somebody who was getting money from you, could be a king of coins as well. Okay. Regardless of gender, somebody that was trying to get money from you who's greedy. Okay. They're all about the money. Uh, was keeping you like this and they were doing this because they were siphoning you on this what I'm getting like they were taking money taking energy from you mm -hmm. if this was work this person was like taking your ideas and running with it saying they're the ones that did it and but I'm I'm clearly hearing, hearing the boss caught them the boss caught them the boss finally found out Somehow the boss found out whether you told them or the boss saw it. Like, this is like, nah, this is so-and-so work. Something happened. It got exposed. Because somebody was also doing magic to keep people under illusion. So they would think that they're the one that's doing this. Or they're the one not doing anything. Or two, two, two on the clock. So God's balancing this stuff out or has balanced it out. God was watching, I should say. God was watching. So let's keep going. I'm sure he bounced it out because I see the door closed. So yeah, I just don't want to get ahead of myself. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep you in the nine of wands. You're a fire though. To even be at the nine of wands going through all of this is pretty damn good. Somebody also could have been trying to stand to uh, keep the status quo. So somebody was staying in a situation or at a job because they didn't want people to feel like they were a failure or people to see them as a failure. This was all energetic though, playing on your weaknesses, I'm getting. Yeah, you were really questioning yourself. This person had you really in your head, questioning who you are and what you're doing. Yeah, this was definitely some, many of you, you were married to this person or you were committed to this. Maybe you were in a contract with a job or contract, this could be family dynamic. It was something you were committed to or connected to or born into. Some of you, this could have something to do with somebody who, maybe they work on a boat. There's something about boats here. Maybe they own a boat or a yacht or something with overseas. Maybe this is somebody you met overseas This is somebody, yeah, somebody definitely connected or committed to this situation somehow. They agreed to a contract, but I feel like it was under a spell, I'm hearing, under magic. Yeah, it was under magic. This person constantly kept you in chaos. I'm hearing chaos magic. So you may want to check out that karmic reading I did as well. This person did a lot to keep you stuck, kept you in your head a lot, keeping you depressed, keeping you always in defeat. That's not, that's not healthy. That's not even normal. I wouldn't even want, but see this person, somebody liked having control over you. Again, they were siphoning you for, for money. You were learning lessons from this person. And again, this could be a lover. This could be a parent. This could be a, a boss. Somebody liked seeing you defeated, always depressed. This was somebody that you would confide in even. You'd be like, 
this is happening in my life and blah, 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 blah. And they'd be like, oh yeah, honey, yeah, I know. And the whole time they're keeping you stuck. They're like, yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, that project went sour. Oh, this, this fool was doing magic. This, fool, this person was watching you at all times. I'm also hearing stalk. Somebody was always stalking you, 15, 22 on the clock. They constantly watch you, constantly watch you, making sure you stay like this. That's crazy. That's horrible. Horrible. Mm, mm, mm. You're on to a new phase now, though. That shit's over. Yeah, this hangman card is reversed. So you have a new perspective on life. You've gotten free. You've taken yourself out of that. You may have also gotten help from somebody else. Somebody might have been praying. Somebody was praying on your behalf. Not might. Somebody was praying on your behalf. Somebody that is also, uh, who is a, they could be an entrepreneur, business person, or somebody just very respected, especially by the divine. This person is very respected by the divine and blessed by the divine. This could be for some of you, somebody that's your wish fulfillment, somebody that you actually love, or somebody that you admire or look up to. I feel like you looked a lot, um, you learned a lot from this person. This person could even be your muse or spiritual teacher, whether they know it or not. This is somebody that has taught you to go within. This, be, this may be somebody that you're also taking a look at and watching. I'm hearing spending time with, but I don't feel like you're physically with this person. Some of you could be. Maybe you meet up this person in secret, but as friends, it's nothing like that. Or you may, because I'm even getting an energy of somebody who, you left the job. And I feel like you meet with this person for coffee every now and then. You talk about people at the job or what's happening at the job and what's not happening. This person is like an informant for you. Even though you don't need that. I don't think you even require it. But this person does respect you. They care about you. You know, they've learned a lot from you. This person is still stuck there. I don't think they're stuck. They just choose to be there. And again, others of you, this is somebody that you have your eye on. This is somebody you're in love with. Somebody that's somebody they're in love with that they would love to be married to or committed to. But I don't think you can go through that door just yet. Not just yet. I might look into that if I remember why. If I remember to check why, okay? I'll try to. <laughs> okay, but sometimes I get this energy, I get lost. All right, tell me more about this closed door. There goes that nine to one. So, hmm. I feel like something, something hadn't happened. Wow, somebody cannot talk. Something was um, suddenly, like something quickly changed like overnight i'm even hearing people are like what happened to aquarius aquarius is so different now aquarius used to complain all the time aquarius used to be all down on its on his or her luck and now all of a sudden they're just like different like people can look at you and tell you have changed because there's been an energy change that energy has come off of you that depressing energy that dark energy that somebody was repeatedly putting on on you there could have been a wife involved here or a husband or a mother and a, and a daughter or mother-in-law and daughter or son-in-law however you know what i'm saying there's some type of maternal or paternal instinct in here with this magic in your in, in your situation. There's an older person, like somebody that is kin to you, a mother or a mother-in-law or a father or a father-in-law was involved in this. Even a sister I'm hearing, an older sister. This is crazy.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, why can't they go towards this first event? I'm gonna go now because I'm gonna forget. Some of you, you're trying to get your money off. I'm hearing that. Why can't they go towards this person yet? Okay. Because you're going to go in secret. You don't want people to know. You don't want anybody near this new love or your new opportunity, this new career, this new contract that you got. Somebody got a really big contract and you're not telling anybody about it. Yeah, because listen to that helicopter. Because of interference, you don't want any interference. Somebody may try to interfere here. But you're going to go towards this person or new opportunity. You're going to begin again. You're just not talking to you. Just you want to keep it safe and quiet. You want to clear out all this shit. You're healing. Yeah, I'm hearing clearly. You're taking your time to heal, heal. And you doing this is going to bring a tower moment. Somebody's already having this. But when you finally go and go be with this person or you start this new contract or start this business on your own, your new firm or whatever, I'm hearing that as well. Your new firm, your new business, whatever, your new office, they're going to be pissed because I feel like you were the main one bringing in the resources. You have all the top clients is what I'm getting. You're the one who makes the pla these places money. If it's a love situation, you're the one that made these people money. You you were the blessing. So I tell this story every now and then. Um, in the Bible, you don't have to be a Bible thumper, okay? We're not a Bible thumper channel, okay? Two, 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 two on the clock. I'm not bashing Bible people, whatever. But Jacob, there was Jacob um, who was favored by God, right? And Jacob, Jacob was not perfect, but Jacob was favored. And Jacob wanted to marry this woman, Rachel, because he thought she was just absolutely gorgeous, right? But he got hustled by her father because the father was like, okay, yeah, just work for me so long and I'll give you Rachel. And he did the work and then what he did was the father sent in not rachel but the other daughter to sleep with him so that they could mate and become married and have kids so now jacob was stuck because jacob and jacob was mad 23 23 on the clock because like you promised me you said you were going to give me rachel but you gave me leah that is not who i wanted to be with i wanted rachel and you knew this and so then the father again his father-in-law said, oh, don't worry about it. Okay, I know, I know, I know. But she, rightfully, my older daughter was supposed to get married first. I'm not supposed to get the younger. We're not, I rightfully, I'm supposed to get the younger, the older. But if you go ahead and work for me a little longer, I'll go ahead and I'll give you Rachel, right? Then, after all that happened, he did this, right? Now he's got kids, he's, you know, he's got children that he's had with these, these women, blah, 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 blah. He's getting ready to leave. Uh, now the father-in-law is like, oh, no, why do you want to do that? You know, grand, the, he didn't want to lose his grandchildren. He really thought by now Jacob was still going to stay, right? Jacob's not going to go anywhere, 24, 24 on the clock. Jacob was like, no, I got to go. God wants me to leave. I've done what I need to do for you. I didn't want to stay with you forever. I just wanted to do the work, get my wives. Let me take my wives and go. And so the father-in-law was trying to do all he could to keep him there, but rightfully he knew he could not. Why am I telling you this story? Four, four, four and o'clock. You are protected. This person understood that you or people, they understand that you carry the success, you carry the blessing. Just your sure, your sheer essence and presence brings them success. You have the will, you have the wisdom, you have it all, baby. And they know that. So 
you walking out that door or getting ready to walk out this door because they know you're leaving, they're going to suffer and they know it. They're trying to hang on to the blessing. It's not even you they care about. Not that you're not, you know, you the, you the shit, okay, Aquarius, you are. It's not that you're not, you know, the man or the woman. But the fact remains, it, the main thing here, not the fact remains, the main thing is they want the gift. And again, you are the gift. And you come with Marula. So they're pissed about it. There's at least three people here who are like devastated. Five, five, five o'clock. They are absolutely devastated. And somebody still got eyes on you. Somebody still got eyes on you. There's somebody also, if it's energy, magic that's been involved here, they still trying. They're trying to call you in. That's what I'm getting. Now you got the King of Cups here. So there's definitely some type of person here who's some type of authority who can't get out their emotions. All They're very emotionally driven. And they do not want to bring, they don't want this to end. This good thing that you were doing, bringing money into their firm or bringing money into their household. or You were taking care of a lot of people. Okay, you were taking a lot of people and this is now ending. And they don't want that. You're going off to do something on your own. You're about to, you're about to do it. Okay. <laughs> you even put your, you've even put your energy. I'm getting two things with this, these cards. You put your energy in check. Look at this. Your emotions are balanced and your money. Right. If they're not, if it's not balanced quite where you want it, it will be. I'm hearing quick success, overnight success, because Aquarius, people like you. It's not hard for people to gravitate to you. You have the gift to gab, whoever I'm talking to. You have gifts. You have amazing gifts. 33 on the clock. That's mastery. And people want it. Nine, nine of cups reverse. They're not having any success. They're not having any wish fulfillment. And if anybody did magic to any of you, those of you that, where this applies, they're going to get in a lot of trouble. They're already in a lot of trouble. They're already in the nine of cups reversed. <laughs> They're already there. Yeah, I'm hearing success. Overwhelms, overwhelms. So you can have like, I'm seeing like the ace of cups in my head. You're going to have, oh, it's going to be success. Some people are going to think it's overnight because it will be. Because they're like, what What do you mean, Aquarius, we had them down? Or Aquarius was down on their luck and all this stuff. And they were just looking like a mess. Aquarius had these addictions. Um, we had Aquarius right where we wanted them. And now they've co completely come out of all of this. This is a whole new person. What the hell happened? A tower happened. The universe happened. God said, no, this has to end. And you took your power back. And I'm hearing you learned lessons. Somebody helped you on this journey, whether you in person or whether you were watching this person or chatting with this person. Somehow somebody helped you change your life, help you get out of this shit. And you need help in this. This was a lot of energy being thrown, especially if you don't know. If it wasn't energy, this is a lot of work that people did to sabotage you from going forward. People were setting somebody up. Yeah, I see people doing something to like paperwork or making papers disappear and changing the stuff, changing computer files. Like, come on now. That's crazy. But still, you came on on top. The reason the divine had you go through that 29, 29 o'clock is because the divine wants you to realize you're, you're a whole package all on your own. These are two kings. You might have not fully mastered to emperor level, but you're definitely two kings. You've mastered that emotion. You've mastered that, uh, your money. Now you just kind of, kind of, your communicate to me, your communication is good. You might still have a chip on your shoulder a little bit because of the past, but you'll heal from that. 
And what's the other card I'm looking for? I'm looking for the King of Wands, action. But I don't know, because I see you, you, to me, it looks to me like you've been taking action. So it just, I think you're just right there, honestly, with that. But regardless, irregardless of that, the point is you've mastered your emotions, which is a big, big deal for you. I don't know, I'm divine saying the baby steps. Because the tarot is like life. Tarot is light. It is it is life. So this takes time, can take years, can take months. But even with this situation from coming from when you found out all this crazy stuff these people were doing to you energetically or otherwise or business-wise at your job or whatever, you snapped out of it. Like, it's crazy. Crazy how quickly it happened. But that's because it's the divine that's protecting you here. Somebody believes in a higher power here. All right. So I'm going to end it there. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Um, my, my, my words to you is just keep going, Aquarius. You're killing the game. This is beautiful. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think this is great, great news for you. There could be somebody that's bitter. It could be a queen of swords who's pissed off about you moving forward. Okay. Um, could be a mother figure, could be a mother, you know, could you be your own mother? Could be, you know, whatever, whatever. We picked that up earlier. Yeah, I do see the Ace of Wands here. So I do, I do feel that's the divine saying, you can go. You, you've you been free to go. I'm hearing you may pass go is what I'm hearing. But this little thing was trying to stop it. Whoever this person is, they're very upset about this ending. They're very upset that you're not taking any more offers from them. Regardless of gender, it could be a male as well. They're mad because you're going on with success without them. Yeah, they tried to stop it, but it's not working, darling. It's not working. Yeah, some darkness was involved here with this nine of high priestess reverse. Yeah, for sure. Somebody, yeah, this person was playing with your finances. But you left anyway. <laughs> you left anyway and then on the nine of coins. Somebody may also be going to jail for what they've done to you. Okay. Or you're getting a restrain, restraining order on this person or some people. Yeah, you may not want to check out that karmic reading. I haven't named it yet, but it was a reading before this reading. It was something with karmics. And the date that I did it on, case because I don't know when you'll see it, is the uh, 7th, June 7th. So... Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Lots of similarities. Yes. And Ron just said a lot of similarities. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want more like this, subscribe. If this is where our journey ends, thank you for allowing me on your journey. I do do other little small personal readings over, not personal readings, but uh, mini readings over on TikTok. You can click the more button below and click that link. It'll show you where TikTok reads are. The weeklies are there. And then also, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, 6 to six to 9 p.m. Eastern. I do, uh, is it 6? No, 5 to 9 p.m. I do uh, personals, tarot, yes or no questions, and quick coachings. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Namaste.